<clears throat> this FCS college football preview and NFL futures edition of the sports gambling podcast. It's brought to you by BetQL. BetQL is your home for the info you need to make yourself a smarter, better college basketball, NBA, and NHL, whatever the sport they got you covered. Plus use promo code SGP for 30% off their premium data. Just go to betql.com promo code SGP 30. That's betql.com promo code SGP 30. We're also brought to you by better than Vegas. Better than Vegas is the home for avid sports betters, providing insights, analysis, and free betting picks better than Vegas. It's like YouTube for sports betting. Make sure to subscribe to our page. So you don't miss a pick sports gambling podcast.com slash BTV. That's sports gambling podcast.com slash BTV. Finally, we're brought to you by better edge. Better edge is a stock exchange for sports bets, allowing you to buy and sell betting positions like a stock market. The best part is it allows you to bet with no vig. That's right. No vig betting. That's legal in 40 States. Sign up at betteredge.com. promo code SGP for a free $10 bet. That's B E T T O R edge.com promo code S G P. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> I think everyone's just looking Woo, at nothing then. <laughs> I must have hit hit a button on the way out. Uh now people can I'm I'm sure the 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 people on YouTube are sad they weren't seeing our beautiful faces, but that the point of playing the FCS is preseason. Yeah. When is preseason for college football? It's in the spring. The high school kids are graduating early. They're getting on campus. Why not if you're Alabama play yeah. a tune-up game in the spring? Or why, why not have an actual spring game that isn't a that, scrimmage? That it goes back the other way too. Yeah, exactly. That, and that, then flip it around. Exactly. Fall for the. I mean, it works out in so many. The only people that get hurt here 
are the FCS kids who are going to go pro. I mean, that's really it. Cause it, then it gets weird with the draft. I actually, but, but even that, I, I, I still think, I mean, most of the season is going to be wrapped up by the draft and I, I think they're fine. Really? They should do it. But I think the side we're underestimating is the political side of this for the politics involved with college sports. Cause if Sam Houston state, which has been a good FCS for years, if they get 10, 20 years of being on ESPN playing in the spring, maybe they can steal some recruits from, from a and M or Texas mm. or Baylor or Texas tech or something. So I, I look, I I'm so glad it's here. We get spring football, a real playoff to 16 teams. Yes. Uh, 10, just, well, 10 automatic bids. It's, it's normally 24, but they went to 16. Cause there's uh, like, uh, I think 30 some opt outs. Well, what I wrote down was selection Sunday football style. <laughs> oh, Let's go. There is, yeah. There's a selection Sunday. It, it's going to be awesome. All right. Before we start breaking down, we're going to do some, some FCS college futures before we do that. Want to give a shout out to BetQL? That's right. Why don't you start betting smarter instead of harder? BetQL has all the data you need to be a winning gambler over at BetQL.com. Use that promo code SGP30 get thirty percent off. Perfect, perfect ROI on your investment already. Hit thirty percent off. Great place to start there. Tons of action, tons of picks. They have a nice little ranking system between one and five stars. I know. I'm always uh, looking at their data when I'm making my college basketball picks. Of course, both Colby and I hit both our lock and our dogs from the college basketball picks podcast. Again, head over to betql.com. Use that promo code SGP30. And they got a uh, sportsbook offers as well. They got it all. Betql.com, promo code SGP30. Okay, Colby, let's start from the beginning. Pretend. You're a you're a football fan, but honestly, you haven't watched a lot of a lot of FCS action. Walk us through, uh, walk us through the program in general. What's going to be happening this season? Uh, well, I can tell you first off, uh, as a guy that's watched thirty years of like FCS playoff football. Now, I have a hard time watching the regular season because I'm covering FBS, yeah. but uh, the playoffs normally. You know, happen in December, as Mike Leach always says that the college football gives away the the month of December they to do. the NFL. And, and two right. two separate points here, real quick. One, it's hilarious that the FCS isn't afraid to have a playoff when realistically the guys playing the FCS are probably better students and actually definitely but probably Sean, need definitely, to pass yeah, their exams yeah. because none of these guys, with the exception <laughs> of you know, like one or two guys are going pro very rarely. And they're the ones that are actually playing the playoffs. So that throws that excuse. And also hilarious move, I think by the FCS of doing the week zero game, just one game yeah. as if the idea of having a week <laughs> with like six games, that's going to overwhelm the college football fan. I mean, eight game slate FCS action too much. We need to solo the game, highlight it. And don't worry, we will be breaking down. Uh, McNeese State at Tarleton State coming up, but I just thought it was hilarious that even they were like, "Okay, we need to solo this game." It's yeah. genius. Yeah, it really is. I mean, especially if you know the backstory of Tarleton State uh, was D two and they yep. dominated oh, the D two ranks. Don't, now now they jump. The, okay. Save it. Save okay. it for the game. Preview, but but Colby. guys, I, I'm honestly like, so Colby, uh, just real quick because yeah. what you're sensing over there is a little bit of alphaness mm -hmm. for some for someone who may maybe they mispronounce a, a, a team or two here in Division One A. <laughs> But we're talking to a one double A dynamo over here. Right? <laughs> He's ready to talk. To, he knows division two. He knows that they're taking a step up. Yeah, Don't bring yeah, that shit right? to his doorstep. Bill Snyder, man. Now, assume you never watched football before. Will this be like Navy? And they will are they tackling? Are they, no, this, will there be tackling yes, this in is FC? Tackling okay. and, and what's great is And they can they can still play a playoff? How do they, they figure can that? still play a playoff? It's <laughs> How a, do they figure that dude, out. Dude, I would uh, and, and I would argue that like I've watched enough playoff football. Now, sure, you you have some bad teams, just like in, in any level of football. But the elites of this, there's certain conferences in the yeah. FCS mm. that are better than actual conferences in the FBS. Ooh. Oh, okay. So which ones? Uh, this who feels is, like a cool yeah. hot is, take. Who is I've better? Who is better in the FCS as a conference? Uh, the CAA, the Missouri Valley. Okay, Missouri Look, Valley. Missouri Valley. North Dakota State is six and zero oh against the yeah. last six teams they've played of the F. BS, including Iowa, I think Minnesota is one of them. Kansas State's one of them. So they are just flat out better. They've well, proved it. Real quick, uh, sidebar: these these teams that played games in the fall are they counting 
to their records going into no. the spring. No. Okay, because I'm I'm looking now. This is just off Google, but North Dakota State is listed at one and zero, oh, and but that's that's totally just, resetting yeah. for the spring. They did a showcase game, so Missouri yeah. State zero oh and three. In the, in the fall, that's not coming over to it's, the spring. It's not, but we should we should watch Missouri State because our guy Bobby Petrino, oh, the guy really? the guy who crashed the motorcycle, well, he's still got, around. He's the head coach of oh Missouri God, State. Yeah, scumbag oh factor, God. baby. Wait, so they were just cool with him having a, a just a toy as a secretary, <laughs> just like all right, listen, I'll I'll take whatever money you want to give me, but you got to hire Sally here. St- still the best photo. <laughs> she I think gets all of it if yeah. you know what I mean. <laughs> But dude, seriously, I mean, look, the Missouri Valley, though Northern Iowa, they might. Uh, I, I was a big fan before uh, Kurt Warner's comments because Kurt Warner went to Northern Iowa. They've been good that long. DJ you and Ward, I, baby. Yeah, they're really good. The Jackrabbits, South Dakota State. That's a rivalry too. North Dakota State against South. They're Dakota always State. Like, kind of nipping at their heels. There. Fucking Jackrabbits. Yeah. And we'll get to them in the futures, but they're uh, they're a live dog as far as winning it all. I mean, if yes. Mike Leach were here, he would laugh at us that we would consider a Jackrabbit versus a Bison. <laughs> Are you come we, on? We should just call him and get him on the show uh, talking because that's another thing is the FCS mascots be- better than the FBS. Wow, okay, better than the FBS. At favorite FCS mascot off the top of your head, Colby? Well, I mean, we were talking about it with the uh, with 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 the Jackrabbit, but I mean, there's a lot out there. There's uh, what, what are some of the other ones? There's like uh, I mean, I feel like the whole Missouri Valley is a great conference. The Leathernecks. Oh, Western yeah. Illinois Leathernecks. Man. I'm in. <laughs> I mean, if you're if, if you're a fan of uh, Drumline. Right, like we're some of the schools. Oh, yeah. We're talking. We're talking uh, some of those schools. We're going Miak, Miak. Uh, the Ohio yeah. Valley Conference, which is obviously more of a basketball conference. Hey, Jack- Jacksonville State can play, man. Ohio is a football state. Same, yeah, same with Big that. Sky. There's a couple, a uh, couple decent teams in Big Sky. Big Sky is actually look. They normally have a, like a couple power conferences. The CAA, our guy Patty C. JMU I was going to really say good. JMU host co-host. Yeah, of yeah, the, the yeah. college experience <laughs> played played for JMU. You, uh, but also if you are from the East Coast, JMU well uh, read in the regards of the uh, the 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 view, if you know what I mean. Like JMU is to a beautiful vista on the <laughs> West Coast as Radford is to a fucking <laughs> spot along the Jersey uh, Turnpike. Well, Kramer, do we, we have a call right? on the uh, yeah. locker room? Calls on locker room live on YouTube. Let's see who's with us tonight. Oh, Patty Sizzle? Could could this be? Is this a different Patty Sizzle? I don't think so. I What's see good, James Patty Brooks. Sizzle? What do you do, baby? How are we living? We're we're living. We're talking James Madison. We're about to make fun of you. <laughs> I heard that. I heard that. I know Kramer knows what's up. Kramer's seen a whore or two. All right, bro, 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 <laughs> real quick. I'm gonna uh, tell I'm gonna tell a quick story. Jo- well, joining us on the line oh. from the college experience, Patty C checking in on the locker room line. So uh, Jay, at least when, when I went to Virginia tech, there were a handful of kids from New Jersey at Virginia tech. Like it was a decent migration from Jersey down to tech, but the real migration happened to JMU and, and it was one Dude. of those schools where, you know, no offense, the bar was a little lower. So, you know, it's kind of like the West <laughs> Virginia factor. It's a little easier to get in. Anyway, uh, what we, we, uh, one of the first weekends I'm in Virginia, I end up going to JMU and everything they told me was true about it. And I remember like the rest of that semester think like trying to find any reason possible to get back to JMU because it was like going to an amusement park with no entry fee. It was great. Anyway, well, sorry. I feel like uh tech and JMU had a lot of the same, same type of people, you know, tech tech, you're going to go down. You definitely had the big college feel. Um, you're probably more likely to get, I don't know, Jamie, there's plenty of fighting going on, but, uh, lots of whores at both schools. Um, (laughs) and, uh, but yeah, definitely just the ratio at JMU was, was a little more beneficial, but isn't it true that Virginia tech doesn't schedule James Madison anymore for one reason? They're scared. (laughs) That is true. And what is that reason? reason? Both Virginia schools, uh, FCS or, uh, power five schools have a hard time putting them on the schedule these days. What, what is that reason though? What happened? Walk us through what happened. I, if I had to guess, there was this guy Drew Dudzik, uh, former Northern Virginia guy, right outside of our area, Centerville High School. You know, he led those Dukes to an, a massive upset. You know, and Virginia Tech actually went on to win the remainder. That was week two. Virginia Tech won, I want to say, eleven straight games after that, only to get smoked by uh, 
Stanford in the Orange Bowl, but we, we beat the ACC champion that year, straight up. So I mean, J- JMU right there for Colby's argument about the CAA potentially being better than some of these. Uh, fuck the Sun Belt. Fuck you know. Uh, <laughs> oh man, whatever, we were just gonna uh, get to the, the, the Sun Mac, Belt preview. You know, we're better than the ACC. We beat the ACC champion. Yeah, I mean, dude. They, hey, you said it right. <laughs> no, they they are better, dude. Richmond, remind Delaware, me, was, Villanova have been good for a Stony long time. Stony Brook. Remind <laughs> me, was that the year right after the massacre on the Virginia Tech campus? Was that the first home? I <laughs> no, believe no, that was massacre. ECU. Oh, that, that was, was ECU. ECU. Yeah. That was. That was the original massacre on the Virginia Tech oh, campus. Wow. Oh, wow. Hey, oh, 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 oh! I think that was a tie <laughs> ride. That was tie ride. I think. <laughs> All right, pa- Patty, Patty C. Since you are a uh, FCS expert, a CAA expert, Villanova, they're sitting at plus twelve hundred. To uh, no fun, <laughs> yeah, to win it all. It's it, it's crazy that they're. Their college football program has better odds right now than their college basketball program. <laughs> certainly, certainly different level of competition. But Villanova at at plus twelve hundred. Any chance they uh, dethrone North Dakota State here in the FCS? Oh, the, the, you can't play around with the Wildcats. They are the real deal at that level. Now, uh, they, I think they got over the hump, didn't they? Win win one recently? No, North Dakota State's been winning them all, yeah. except for that one game you got. But. I feel like Villanova goes pretty deep, pretty regularly. So, but, um, but that would mean they would have to win the CAA and beat James Madison. Is that what you're saying, Patty C? It could be an at-large uh, bid. At-large bid. <laughs> That's at-large, true. Because they're de- they're definitely not taking that crown away. I don't know where's that game being played this year. I I, I have to dig that oh, up no. right now. We, but we, uh, so yeah, if you uh, if, have- yeah, if you don't know the uh, for the 16 teams. Ten of uh, the ten conferences, right, and then six conf- at large. Eleven conferences, right? Yeah, uh, the, there's no Ivy. Oh, that's right. Yeah. That's so, right. Um, yeah, but then look, you got ten, ten automatic bids. Big Sky, Big South, CAA, uh, wh- OVC, Pioneer, Patriot, MV, MVFC, NEC, SoCon, <laughs> Southland. <laughs> Now, now, what's great though is that they play a home playoff game. So instead of these yeah. BS bowls like the Chimichanga Listen, Bowl, I, right? <laughs> I've, hi- I've highlighted this before. That's how you make some money for the the playoff for the FBS, right? Like they haven't unlocked it yet. They're in the lab with Dr. Pepper trying to figure it out. I think the Colonel might be in there too. They're really going to unlock the eight team playoff next. But for now, we have, like I said, I'm excited for spring selection. Dude, Sunday football style. This, this is great. Now, Patty C, look, take JMU out of the equation. Do you have yeah. a? Do, do you have a, 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 a? You can't go chalk because North Dakota State's kind of a JMU rival by now. <laughs> what do you? Who you? Who you picking? Non JMU to non win North to, Dakota State. Yeah, and and I, would, I mean, uh, it's a little bit chalky, but Weber seems to be having their shit together lately. That that's a team I'm on the lookout for. Those folks in Utah, you know, no drinking. They don't drink over there. You've been over. I've been over the Salt Lake City. I had to get like a a one day license to drink at the bar. So <laughs> yeah, they make said, you they make you no join DJ. some weird club. You got you got to put your hashtag na- Dejan Zoli. You, you got to be on the books at the social club so they know you're not a, a Mormon breaking all the rules. <laughs> oh, That's right. right. That's right. So you like you like uh, Weber State, Weber State plus four hundred. <laughs> Sean prefers Weber State. <laughs> I mean, come on. <laughs> No, they're good though. They they play great defense. They they're uh, I I was really impressed with over the past few years with their physicality, and uh, they 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 had to play at JMU I believe last year, and that's why they lost. I think if that game was in uh, Utah, they might have upset the uh, the Dukes there. So uh, I like hey, that. Play. The home field advantage played. We earned it in the regular season, and that's why, like Colby says, all those teams in the South that uh, get the home field advantage for all intents and purposes in the bowl games. Whatever it be orange bowl, peach bowl, fucking sugar bowl, blah blah bowl. Uh, lo and behold, they usually win. We've seen the South kind of take over. You come to Harrisonburg, you're taking a fucking L. That's how it works. <laughs> I love it. Wow, we're getting some <laughs> FCS smack talk from a JMU alum. I like it. Love it. Hey, and don't forget Charles Haley, one of the best defensive linemen of all time. Gary Clark, a, a Super Bowl winning wide receiver from the Washington football team, and uh, Scott Norwood. I mean. That that is all JMU Look, are royalty all J- right and, there, and yeah. a pivotal moment in my uh, my sexual prowess happened, <laughs> happened on the campus of JMU. So wow, let's, was that a recruiting trip gone well, wrong? What <laughs> happened? Here? Yeah, you know, I was just checking out the campus. Didn't know we used to call him uh, the, the the type that Patty C was referring to earlier. We used to call him TBS as tall, blonde, and skinny. 
That's that's JMU can that's the Long. campus of JMU. Right there. All right, before we let you go, Patty C, uh, who do you like week one here? Uh Charlton versus uh McNeese. Yeah, yeah. week zero, week oh, one, yeah. whatever, yeah. Give me uh give me the, the, the what are they, the Texans? Yeah. Yep. Tarleton, Give me Texas. Tarleton, baby, coming up and running shit right off the bat. Home Love dog it. catching two and a half plus one twenty on the money line. Make sure you check out Patty C, the place to be on the college experience. Thanks, man. Thanks for calling in. All right, brother. I appreciate it, fellas. Take it easy. Later, bro. Good Love to hear uh, Patty C checking in on the locker room line. I mean, he's a true legend. He's a guy that that had a burrito on the sidelines of a game that got him in <laughs> trouble. You know, can you imagine with Sean? You played high school football. Yeah. You, you go eat a burrito on the sideline. I, I mean, one the <laughs> the ashes in my stomach to, would have, would have been like, well, what are you doing right now? There's a lot to unpack. I mean, I probably could have eaten a burrito on the side because it wouldn't have mattered. I wouldn't have been getting in. Well, that's path logic. Was like, I, dude, I'd never sniff the dude, field. I, dude, I don't know how you do that. I would like, especially when I ran track, I, nerves were crazy. I'd have to take a shit before every race. Yeah, I'm eating burritos <laughs> on the sideline. Huh? Where's he getting like a uh-uh. decent burrito? Yeah, who's the who's the delivery man? I, we need to go deep into this story here. Uh, I think there's a little bit more. To like fucking TO <laughs> keeping a burrito in your sock. <laughs> anyway. And that well, that's what those hand warmers are for. Keep the burrito warm. What's, what's going on? You're that's not a Andy, quarterback. You don't need a hand warmer. Andy Reed, why are you wearing two hand warmers? <laughs> you want keep a little sack in Lunch there. and dinner. But but dude, I I, I really believe like at the CAA over the past 20, 30 years, like I said, JMU, Richmond, Delaware, Villanova, M- Maine's had some good teams. The, I if you schedule them against the Mac or the conference USA, well, I really think it'd be close. It'd be a wash. Yeah. And I, I don't have much evidence, but again, it's like a wash off of the area, right? Like you have the, the, the tidewater area that just creates talent. So at any level, I mean, we see with ODU, right? Old yeah. dominion pops yeah. has popped their head up uh, just because of where they are. Uh, JMU kind of right down the road. Uh, maybe a, a, a Rich, second Richmond tier too. option. Yeah, yeah. And at this point, you know, with the fact that these teams play on, they even have some televised games. Like, you know, they always say like the difference between one a and one double a is a handful of scholarships. And, and, you know, with some of these programs, like you said, it's true. You, you've seen what, what, who the guy, they blocked the kick against Michigan. And now they've been playing D one for a while. App State, Pretty fucking good yeah. app state. Thank you. Yeah. Corey Lynch. So, yeah. It was Corey Lynch. Who, who's that. the, yeah. the, the question I kind of came in with is which one of these teams is the next team to make the jump. To to the FBS or yeah. to or to, well, to win the championship. Uh, I mean, I, North Dakota State. I, I I think if if you've won eight out of, out of nine God, national championships, but don't that, they don't they almost like staying there and dominating? dominating. <laughs> I just feel like to me, it, there's talk right now that the AAC might steal. So mm. the American Athletic might steal San Diego State and Boise, right? And if that happens, the Mountain West, it's a no-brainer. They should grab North Dakota and South Dakota State. So the former yeah. Big East is going to have teams on the West Coast. That's fucking weird. I mean, the conference USA had it for a little bit. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. So, I mean, so then they need to backfill and that, that would be the backfill. I mean, that's what I've read. I, I, I don't know how close that is to happening, but I'm saying, uh, especially the North Dakota state s- side of things. I think it's close on the Boise state, San Diego state side of things. Yeah, I mean, if I'm the ACC, uh, if this basketball situation doesn't improve in Syracuse, I'm seriously considering <laughs> swapping out JMU for <laughs> Syracuse. There you like, go. Right? Like, who in the ACC is stoked to go up there? It's like it's bad enough to go to Boston College. At least you're in Boston. <laughs> Syracuse is in the middle of nowhere. Well, well, Colby, what are these? Uh, you know, we've kind of highlighted the CAA a little bit. What's another fun conference or? Are, are there some rivalry games we should be looking ahead as as future FCS diehards that we are? Uh, what what you know? Obviously, North Dakota State odds on favorite to win it all, plus one fifty. But besides them, like what other what are there some rivalries? I know they have a rivalry with San Diego St- or South Dakota State. I keep seeing SDSU and want to say San Diego State. <laughs> our gals. Um, what 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 are some rivalries? Some teams to kind of keep our eye on. Well, look, it, we we talked. Uh, it, you know, Big Sky. Unfortunately, it's normally one of the best, and I still think it's good. But Montana, Montana State, and Sacramento mm. State, which are all playoff teams a year ago, opted out. So they still have some really good teams. Eastern Washington, Red they, Turf, yeah, and heads they, up, they, dude. They've had a good program for like twenty or thirty years as well. Yeah. Um, they're they're up there. Weber State's in that conference. I expect those two the best. Northern Arizona and Flagstaff, yeah, that's uh, a that's a fun college staff. Yeah, uh, they're, they're not bad. So I expect them, especially. Be careful, in, Kramer FML tour made a quick. Stop through there, you know, on a little little family trip out to the uh, eastern part of the state. 
I went through that campus, so I just want to call that out before anyone gets too excited about Put your Northern stick Arizona. on it, Ryan. I was there this year. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> <laughs> the curse yeah, is the on FML Northern Arizona. Arizona. Fade, fade yeah. the lumberjacks. Now, now they, don't, they don't have a Heisman Trophy in FCS, but if they did, who are some some names to keep an eye on? Obviously, Trey Lance not playing for North Dakota State in the spring. He's going right to the draft. But who are some other big name players that that kind of would be in the Heisman running? Well, I think you stay you stay right there because North Dakota State's been a factory at quarterbacks. Are so. we talking about Zeb Nolan? We are uh, uh, Iowa State transfer. This guy had a great game against Oklahoma a few years ago. So uh, I I was a little shocked he made the jump to D two or I'm sorry uh, FCS. But in, when you look at all their quarterbacks are I mean Wentz was top ten. Lance is projected number seven. I saw this morning. And then the other guy, the backup for the Chargers, uh, what's his, what's my Easton guy's name? Stick. Easton Stick. You know, they so they're it's a powerhouse. they're it really is. quarterbacks in the pros nonstop. Well, and, and, yeah. and you think if they're getting these guys drafted, you play in a dome and you dominate. It's a great opportunity to showcase. Here's a quote from uh, our buddy Zeb. I know there were some hard decisions to be made for some seniors with moving on with life, and I respect that. But I think there was no closure. Senior Bison quarterback Zeb Nolan said of the one game fall season. I needed to come back and be here for everybody and play for Bison Nation. I mean, <laughs> also I'm ready to run through a, first, a wall for that. Guy. Also, not not a, not a first round talent, maybe. <laughs> Dude, but you, you, but you, I mean, if you're if you if you're like just looking to get a sniff, and you're seeing a program that's giving guys like Easton Stick a chance, uh, yeah, why not roll the dice at North Dakota State? Uh, uh, Eric Bier uh, is a is a quarterback for Eastern Washington. Dual threat. He's nasty. Uh, I, and another thing is, we got a couple triple option teams in this in this K- Kennesaw State, the Citadel, Furman. They all They're run Kennesaw tri- State plus eight hundred to win it all. And and Furman for- twenty five to one. Yeah. And man. from what I can tell, so two statements here. One, cr- you know the, the the good teams have been doing well in most of the sports. Uh, th- this you look at the the odds. The future during COVID, here. you're saying? Yeah, I'm saying that recently, good teams have been getting to the finish line. Uh, in just about every major sports league, good teams are performing well. Uh, the teams that were supposed to do good are going to do good. But with this FCS shit, one and done, Torney at the end. There's got to be something because you, if you go 16 teams deep, you're into the 30 to one range. So now here's the question. You're telling me there's a chance. Well, and there's still another statement, but there's first the question, which is the odds makers can't know that much about these teams. Yeah. (laughs) They They cannot know that much about these teams to where I wonder what kind of prop swap action there's going to be. Cause if you can grab, like I'm assuming there's some, some teams here, maybe a little further down that you can pick up a 50 to one type number. And maybe they're making a run in a playoff spot. Well, well or are you, here, are you some, saying that there's no chance it's going to be chalky? No, I I think there's there's definitely. Uh, I had a, a guy on the college experience today breaking down the FCS, and he was a, a North Dakota State fan. So he was telling me that he goes, "This is what he thinks is the uh, their weakest team, mm. but they're still really good, and they develop uh, their positions really well." Yeah. And another thing is the home playoff game with no fans. I mean, well, I think North Dakota can have some, but I'm saying in general for the sport. We could see it really. Uh, uh, you know, Weber had to play at JMU. That was a packed house last year. If there's no one there, that's got to make a little bit of a difference, right? Well, well I, yeah, I, I, yes. <laughs> and if you're looking at some potential at large uh, bids here, here are some of the projected ones we're seeing: South Dakota State, uh, Eastern Washington, UNI. Uh, wait, did UNI opt out or no? No, this, UNI, is, UNI is Northern there. Iowa. They're, they're, and that's a game that we're going to see guys. Uh, I believe next Friday, they take on South Dakota state and those are two really good programs. Yep. So, and they've well, been five and yeah. six to one to win the, uh, the chip as they call it. Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, some other potential at large Villanova uh, makes sense. Cause JMU probably going to win the CAA or at least projected to Austin P Sam Houston state teams on uh on Colby's bubble list, Albany. <clears throat> These are teams. Great Danes. They got a six, seven quarterback, dude. Illinois State, Monmouth. Oh man, I used to know a guy. A uh, guy went to Monmouth. He was a guy who uh, played at our high school team. Went to Monmouth. His family had a uh, mafia ties. Interesting character. <laughs> uh, and then Wolford. Ma- Ma- Monmouth has a quarterback, Kenji Bahar. I think he threw forty-two touchdowns last year. 
I love that keep you know eye, that. Keep an eye. I love, I love yeah. that you know that. So maybe Monmouth is the uh, team we take we, the crazy long shot we, on. We definitely. What are we gonna give ourselves? Two, two Austin, or three weeks. Austin P is forty to one. Uh, Monmouth uh, is fifty to one. We need. We need Austin P is right up your alley because they played a bunch of fall games and they said, uh, "Fuck you, we're yeah. playing both seasons." All right, I like it. The what governors. Else? The governors. What else? Oh, governors. Yeah, oh man. All right, I'm already in. <laughs> I'm hopefully, huge. hopefully, he's not like the California governor, right? There you go. Oh wow. Gavin Newsom. Well, getting political. Uh, uh so I'm all in on Austin po- Austin P, Clarksville, Tennessee. Let's go, baby. I'm gonna Google their schedule. I think do we each pick a team? I think this is a fun bet. Why don't we each pick a team, similar range? Whoever gets farther brings the whole pot down. Oh, I feel like I, so I'm going, I gotta I like watch it. him first. I'm I like go, it. Yeah, come on, Crap. Coming in watch dark. it. All right. I'm going Austin P <laughs> at 40 to 1. You guys can each pick a team either at 40 to 1 or below as far as FCS odds. We each throw a hundred dollars in the pot. Whatever team gets farther in the season wins it all. Oh man. So I, it has to be 40 to 1 or worse? Hashtag Dejans only. <laughs> yeah. Come on. Get into FCS uh, football. <laughs> well, you know Pussy? what? Uh, we <laughs> We spent a moment on the great campus in <laughs> Moscow, Idaho. Oh, okay. the, Vandals. the Vandals. Great name, though. 66 to 1. Uh, I have a cousin who attended the great university there. Mm. Uh, that That's where I'm going, Sean. So uh, you're taking Idaho? I'm taking Idaho. I mean, look. Uh, this is a uh, this is a, a place where even if there aren't fans, they have a advantage. The uh, little bit of elevation, a lot of weather. Oh, I like it. Cold I in like the spring. It. It's, that's, it's that's where the Brady argument started. started. One thing I do have <laughs> noted here is like still my, going for some <laughs> reason. Like well, yes, it's where the great Brady. Uh, <laughs> I now I, I don't remember. How what bad? I was how many say. games did I lose in pool when we were in Moscow? I, I, I think I know, went zero and eight. Oh. Um, uh, weather normally it, it, it weather it gets cold right like no, so you, they're in a dome. I'm not saying one oh, team. Okay. I'm saying the whole thing. Injury wise, like to start a season, it's warmer. You're not worried about muscles popping all this stuff. Now that you're starting in the brisk winter, right? Like one of the things I have noted, we, uh, which we should probably get to. Which by the way, we have a caller as well. But we should get to this game because weather will matter. I wonder because we're starting. In the coldest part of the season, will that that's, have a? That, that's football. That's the way it should be. I don't mind, yeah. but we've never. This is we're in uncharted territory yeah. right now. February. Cold weather teams, I think, will have more of an advantage than normal. Colby, before we get to the caller, your FCS team. I gotta go with the Fighting Blue Hens of Delaware. <laughs> Delaware. I'm in Delaware. Patty C. You know, gave me a hard time for repping the Blue Hens because he said, "Aren't they a female? <laughs> Shouldn't uh, they be the Roosters?" Look, right? Hey. Delaware is Delaware. The Delaware football team is the Delaware of States. I know there, there was a guy completely uh, forgettable, no tax, minuscule no sales tax and unimportant. <laughs> there was a guy uh, on again, going back to my high school football days, uh, Ryan, I don't know if you know, I used to play, but uh, one of the guys who was addicted to steroids uh, amongst other things in high school, he, uh, he, he was like insanely Jack dude, six, six. And just like, Really didn't have athletic ability, but was just like jacked up and ripped out of his mind. Like struggled to wipe his ass. Yeah, he so but ex- he could <laughs> he could punt the ball, and he got he went to Delaware on a punting scholarship. He had to like retake the SATs number of times. His combined SAT was like low mid six hundreds. Um, not a bright guy. Nice. Guy. That means like it must have a great football team. Uh, Rich Rich Gannon, Joe Flacco from there. Look, good yeah, these are, like, these are good gems. things. Yeah, two Super Bowl winners. Well, Kramer, get no, to the get to the win win. Super Bowl players. Yeah. All right, Jung. What's good, brother? Oh man, I what's up, boys? How you guys doing? What's happening? <laughs> How what, are you, man? Love it, love it. Um, yeah, no, I was looking, I was studying the FCS and um is Central Arkansas not not in the FCS anymore? They are, but they they are not playing this year because they played in the fall. So certain teams yeah. opted out. There was like thirty, I think thirty four teams that decided not to play. So we got, I think 90, 92 still going. So, and, and then, and Towson, what about Towson? They, they waved the white flag too. You know, Jeez. what guy they're, they're pussies. What can I say, man? <laughs> <laughs> I, no, I had, I, I was thinking if, if central Arkansas was playing, man, they, I mean, they, they had a good showing against um, UAB, right? Had yeah. a 10 point loss against them in the fall and then lost by 11 to uh, 
North Dakota State. So I was thinking if they were going to be playing, man, but I can't find them. But uh, there's a couple. I'm, I'm, there's yeah. a, there's a couple teams that you should North Carolina A and T has been a team that's been a pain. I mean, the last time they played ECU, they won under the Scotty Montgomery days, twenty five to one. Sam Houston State. Uh, I also think Illinois State, another one that uh, in the Missouri Valley. Missouri Valley is deep with teams, man. Just look, there's like five or six teams that night in, or week in week out is going to be a tough out for a lot of the teams and minus North Dakota State. And I got to imagine, and getting back to just the concept of betting on something that just generally hasn't really been. I mean, how many of these teams have played a game with a point spread before? I'm serious. Like, how many? Th- well, the playoffs have the playoffs yeah, have, yeah, but that's yeah. the top Pl- teams. Playoffs. And the pl- and the teams that come up and play an FBS school, you'll see them getting you know 70 points or whatever. Yeah. But how many times have, have we have they had an actual spread on a game at this level? It feels like we're going to be just like the games are going to be coming in nowhere near the spread, and that if you pay attention. Yeah, I gotta imagine this is gonna be like the weird small conference basketball shit that you like, Colby. Yeah, where <laughs> you're gonna be able to dominate the well, sports. Well, y- then you have the compelling factor of like, dude, Deion Sanders at Jackson oh, State yes. just has the 85th best recruiting class in all of football. That includes wow. the, the so, dude, North Dakota State and JMU don't recruit like that. So I'm saying that he's bringing in a slew. His son is uh, the starting quarterback. Uh, look. I was going to pick Jacksonville state, but Sean strictly, he said 40 to one or yep. more. Not Jackson, are you going to no Jackson state is, is Dion oh, Jacksonville, sorry, Jacksonville state, state is the Gamecocks who are good, but Jackson state, not even on the radar. Also easy Ed McCaffrey, the new head coach oh. at Northern Colorado, bringing his son, Dylan McCaffrey as a transfer from Michigan Ooh. to be their starting quarterback. Well, that says all you need to know about the state of Michigan sports right now. <laughs> D- dudes are transferring out of Michigan <laughs> to, go to go to go to a, a, a to go play with their dad. I mean that's that's cute. D- while you anyway, guys were anyway. talking, breaking news. While you guys were talking, I ordered a used Austin P jersey <laughs> oh. for fourteen dollars. Oh. Let's go, baby. I need Who's van- the new governor, baby? <laughs> <laughs> I need a vandal shirt. I need anyway. W- sorry, we 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 have a guest, Sean. Is is there is there a line on UC Davis Aggies? Oh you yeah, see. no, and Dan Hawkins, the guy who who was to one, one of the starters of the Boise oh, State yeah. program. Dan Hawkins, yeah, yeah, I love it. Eighty to one to win the nat- the Natty. At Dude, the, uh, they made FCS the playoffs level. last year to get those odds as a team that made the playoffs. And right. if you want a little bit of next level handicapping, you would know UC Davis. That's country boy farm country. Uh, they they probably got some some country strong motherfuckers. Like think Big Ten. John, yeah, absolutely. Uh, uh, before absolutely. before we let you go, what do you uh, besides this uh, Tarleton State McKinney's State game? <laughs> M- McKinney's? M- how do you pronounce it, Colby? McNeese. McNeese. <laughs> McNeese. Come on, State. dude! You've really been in the tourney before. You've heard McNeese it. State, Tarleton State. <laughs> and dealing with besides betting on that, uh, what else? What other action you got going on? I know you got something cooking. I mean, uh, b- besides Australian Open, you yeah. know what I mean. Yeah, who do you like in the Australian Open? <laughs> Uh, I mean, right now, right now, I'm 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 sticking with the WTA. So with the WTA, a uh, lot lot of chalk right now, but I I do like um, this Belarus Sabalenka, Arena Sabalenka. <laughs> she she's on fire. So hashtag <laughs> <Dungeons only. laughs> and, and if you want more of that, come over to the Slack. Yeah, <laughs> Jong's lighting it up Absolutely. in the Slack. Hell yeah. You guys are the man. Thanks, you guys John. Are the man. Cheers. Real yeah. man of DJ. Hey, All thank right. you, brother. Enjoy. Cheers, right. brother. All right, Colby, before we get to uh the McNeese State at Tarleton State. <laughs> I kind of like your McNeese <laughs> whatever you said, that's better. McNeese? You added an extra syllable. Dude, in there. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck. It was like something <laughs> was on the like McDonald's. It was menu. Like a sneeze. Yeah. <laughs> McNeese. <laughs> McNeese? God bless you. Cause they're tight. <laughs> What were you gonna say, my friend? Uh, Patriot League football. I know Holy Cross getting j- get just they they pencil them in, the and group. I know uh, I know you like the uh, the Holy Cross quarterback. Doesn't he have a crazy uh, what what's his name? Uh, it is uh, Joey Fagnano. No, so. no, that's a. Uh, no, Connor D. Genhart. Oh, I'm Holy sorry. Cross yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. You were talking about the main quarterback. <laughs> Whose whose name is very unfortunate. I'm sorry, dude. My main black bears. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so the main quarterback's name. Spell it out for people. It's very unfortunate for the guy. Uh, F A G N A N O. Yes. Fagnano. 
got a fucking cannon. All right. He's, <laughs> he's throwing it all around the backyard. Get Not that there's it. anything wrong with that. <laughs> now, Connor to Jen Hart though. I feel like we got to get yeah, Connor I, Dejan Hart. I, I want to go with Con, uh, Connor Dejan Hart, but man, as uh, played by Jean Claude Van Damme. I really, it's an, it's a badass name, but I got to root against the What's guy because he's name? playing against Lehigh. What's the oh, first name? Connor. Yeah. Connor Dejan Hart. And he's just preparing for the game by putting his fist in broken <laughs> glass. <laughs> Dude, he's gonna destroy Lehigh. I can't wait to see the Crusaders just oh, come down there. How, just how dare fuck you? Them up. All right. I love that we're talking. Uh, we're talking basketball, school football. <laughs> Imagine what the six packs that Colby's gonna come up with. Yes, dude. Jackson Jackson State starts off with Edward Waters. That's a university. I'm sorry, you got to read some stuff. Do it. It's all good, Colby. Just want to give a shout out to Better Edge. That's right. I'm rocking the Better Edge hat. Do you know what I like? I like a good hat and I like not paying a VIG. And you can do that over at betteredge.com, promo code SGP. Get that free $10 bet. I know it kind of crazy. No VIG betting. We have, not only do we have no VIG betting options over at betteredge.com, we also have college football in the spring. Life is good. Use that promo code SGP. Plenty of fun contests. Hopefully, bring it back the uh, beat the database contest. That's always that's always a good one. They got it all going over at uh, betteredge.com. Very easy sign up. Make sure you get verified there so you can use the uh, play for play for real money. I mean, edge coins are fun, but come on, real money is where it's at. Let's go betteredge.com. Promo code SGP. McNeese State laying two and a half at. Tarleton State in Stephenville, Texas. Never been there. <laughs> well, Kramer, is that correct? Who they updated you- the goddamn sheet? No, I just Googled where Tarleton State is. <laughs> I, I wrote in there, don't tell Sean. <laughs> I would you th- I couldn't pronounce Stephenville. That's very easy to pronounce. Yeah, I, I don't actually now remember why I didn't I was know where it was. <laughs> Oh man. Man. I think I was going to ask you where Tarleton state oh, was. I have no idea. Mm. Well, now, I now you know, Stephenville, Texas, McNeese state. You know, this town has been through a lot. Cowboys dealing with a ton of adversity. Hurricane Laura really hit the hit, hit the city hard. Still got a seven and five season in 2019. And <laughs> two uh, years ago, <laughs> yes. Battle through that adversity of that hurricane they that still, happened in the future. They still, <laughs> have, they still deal with that hurricane. <laughs> Cody Orgeron, son of Ed O, is the quarterback there. And my first thought is, wow, he must suck if his dad can't get him on LSU. Yeah. But looking at his numbers, Colby, 200 or 2,628 yards, 24 touchdowns, nine interceptions. Seems like this kid is the real deal. Uh, yeah. I mean, uh, look, uh, he's clearly better than anything LSU had last year, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, when what his dad told him was, son, you, you're going to ride the pond here in LSU. <laughs> so why don't you go somewhere and learn how to hold that tiger? I don't think he wanted his son on campus. Uh, Coach O recently divorced. He's plowing everything mm. in Baton Rouge. He's probably like, son, Doesn't need the son hanging around. Go hang out in McNeese. All right. <laughs> he didn't want to accidentally run a train with his son. <laughs> Get a little stuck in a. Wop. But dude, I mean, this is a one order on town. Th- these guys have been through a lot, honestly. Like that, that, yeah. that, that, that football stadium got destroyed. That they, even their dorms, they couldn't yeah. go. Yeah, they're the living team, out of a hotel. Yeah, like, like, there's like 14 transfers, I think, on the football team that left because of they just needed to leave. Coaches too. No, like, the DC just just quit a week ago. It's been a mess, but they're bringing in a new head coach that that was a big time recruiter. NC Nick was the one to tell me that, Oh man, what is the name of this book that would, that was big on recruiting in meat locker, I think. And uh meat locker. Was it meat locker? Okay. I'm probably I, mean, fucking I, that up. I feel like people are going to Google this. Don't Google this on incognito. There's, there's man, a book maybe? on recruiting that came out <laughs> in, in the, in the <laughs> 2000, mid two thousands <laughs> that my brother was telling me about that. Frank Wilson, the head coach of McNeese was the top recruiter uh, at, at LSU. And a lot of those years where Patrick Peterson got $200,000 and stuff like that. So you can only assume <laughs> this guy, I'm can, Googling you, you images all, of meat locker just to make sure that it's not anything meat bad. market. I think oh, maybe meat go. market, well, try that worse. Try <laughs> meat market, something like that. Right. right There's yeah. some book. I, I want to say we, Bruce Feldman might've been involved in it. Okay. Um, but anyway, he's their new head coach. He was never really good at being a head coach. He was UTSA's head coach recently recruited really well horrible execution though. So I wonder if the same thing will happen with McNeese. And then on the other side of the ball here, Tarleton new to the party. Yeah. yeah. Division two climbing up. 
and they lost a ton of guys. They lost their guy th- who threw for almost 3,400 yards. They're almost 1500 yard rusher. They had a 1400 yard receiver, their top tackler all gone. And they're making the jump from division two to division one. I mean, how can you go against this McNeese state team right now? They, it felt like they've been through so much adversity. They're rallying. They've seen it all and probably just a, a more talented team. I feel like I need to raise my hand for this one. First of all, it is called meat market inside the smash mouth world of college football recruiting by Bruce Feldman. There we go. Uh, you can get it used for three 99. It looks like so uh, from thrift books, shout out to them. Uh, <laughs> me, what did I say? Meat locker. <laughs> meat locker was your first guess. Uh, Sean, I'll tell you why you don't pick the school from McNeese state. Why is that? They're called the fucking Cowboys, Sean. Oh, uh, I mean, you know, it's what? the Cowboys or the Texans. You really can't win here. What do you mean? <laughs> I mean, I'm okay both. with the Texans. <laughs> ah, come on. Uh, you, the fact that you're taking the Cowboys on this show is just showing us <laughs> how far we've come. Look, the temperature uh, at kickoff is projected to be about 20 degrees. It's a high of 26, low of Football 17. Football weather, baby. Football weather. I Football love Football weather. Yeah. Where's McNeese State uh, from? Louisiana. Yeah, a little warm, warmer part of the state. Yeah, yeah, oh man, yeah. they're Come gonna, on. it's gonna You're be crazy. Nice. It's gonna be cold. Tarleton, those be- the beautiful purple field. Um, fans won't be. Uh, are we fans in the stadium? I would imagine. I think, so. Texas. I think so. Yeah, uh, it's gonna be lit. It's a night game. It's gonna be cold. Did I mention it's gonna be cold as shit? Uh, yeah, I don't know. And this, this, this just has the makings of potential shit show. Like this is one of those games where I flip on. I'm stoked the football's <laughs> back, and I'm like, whoo. Okay, so like a couple levels above high school? Is that where we're at here? Okay. <laughs> and the field is not purple, Ryan, just the end zones. Buddy, you got Daniel yeah. Jones. That's a couple levels above high school. Oh, here we go. I'm giving <laughs> the home team. I'm taking the team stepping up in class. Going with the home dog. That's crazy. Colby, are you with him though? I am. I so am. You guys are both on look, Charlton State. Look, sometimes it's a pedigree. I think they're 23 uh. and 2 in the past uh and yeah, that's win. division but, two though. But, winners win. But sometimes when you when you jump up and look, they they got a Western Kentucky quarterback transfer, Stephen Duncan coming in, and don't forget the Adams State D two transfer, All American wideout Tariq Bitson. This guy will I'm be so a problem right for now. McNeese. So uh, this I can't wait. We got football this Saturday, guys. It is pretty awesome. So, Are you worried about a uh, possible sure. <laughs> possible look ahead game for Tarleton State? Big big uh, affair going to New Mexico State the following week. Hey, that, we'll well, look at New Mexico spot. State, the only FBS team playing in the FCS. Yes, things are going to get crazy in well, Las Cruces well, this year. I'll, I'll say this. I'll say this about Tarleton State as well. Google doesn't have their logo in their system. That's why you got to go McNeese State. <laughs> they uh, haven't even bothered. Google hasn't bothered to index <laughs> their fucking logo. COVID, COVID year. COVID year. Uh, no, Google doesn't have COVID. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> dude. But look, this year, what's great? Next week, Friday. We get two football games. Saturday, a slew of games. And then Sunday, a slew of games. They're smart. They're using all three weekend days. Football is here, guys. I just oh want to break this God. over my own head and uh, <laughs> just have a good time. So, uh, yeah, I, I'm on. I'm all over uh, Tarleton here. You got to ride the momentum. This team has been, they're used to winning. I'm with you. I, I think sometimes. So you guys win- are locking up Tarleton State. Win- I'm winners- going against the Grim. McNeese State gets it done. Winners win. Okay, uh, Kramer, we're going to be tossing over to a uh, a segment we taped earlier. The NFL futures broke down a ton there, and uh, looking forward to the weekend. We'll be back doing college picks, college basketball picks, doing college football picks next week as well. Man, it's back. Feels awesome. Let's fucking go before we uh, let the live audience go here. What a shout out better than Vegas. That's right. Better than Vegas. You want free video picks. Of course you do. Who doesn't want some free picks, some free video picks. Just go to sports gambling podcast.com slash BTV sports gambling podcast.com slash BTV. Check out uh, a lot of people on there that uh, are giving out picks Colby when he remembers to do it. I'm Kramer. undefeated. Well, I, I look, I don't want to oversaturate it because I'm undefeated still. I'm like five and oh doing these videos. So I feel like, look, I got to slow, slow it down, slow it down. Georgia Brooks. <laughs> she's giving out picks as well. NBA picks. You can also hear her on let it ride. That is a uh, dropping soon as well. Latest let it ride the sports gambling game show versus John boy Jackson. Again, 
so many free picks on better than Vegas. And you can start your own profile. I know a friend of the program, XFL Jim, he's got his own profile of better than Vegas. Very entertaining uh, watching him. Uh, I don't know if you could call it work, but whatever he's up to, it's fun. It's entertaining. Plenty of free video <laughs> picks, plenty of winners better than dot Vegas and uh, subscribe to our page. Just go to sports gambling podcast.com slash BTV sports gambling podcast.com slash B T V. He's getting Clark Kellogg on Tate's take tomorrow. Oh, nice. So maybe.